I have a presentation is uh, too much work and it feels like so little time. So before we begin, uh, how's everyone feeling? On the whiteboard, I'd appreciate it if you like put like a smiley face or like a little picture of like how you feel. Yeah. Smiley faces and neutral. There you go. Yeah. Happy, happy. Yeah. Smiley faces, neutral face, tired, me too, Luke. Yes, sir. Nice, nice. <laughs> Seems like the majority of you are somewhat happy or a little like numb, but that's all right. And so, my, uh, my problem and overall discussion of this uh, today is homework and the impact it's had specifically during COVID-19 and now. It seems like because of homework loads we're getting now, we're having more late nights, more late work's getting turned in, grades are getting lower. And because of that, we're having later success. So uh, I did a little bit of research, obviously, the, the 80s. Um, and the uh, literary source one was um, targeted towards those that were distance learning. And in that uh, AB, I learned from NBC News uh, this article right here, that the kid that was being interviewed, he said, when I'm at home, fully remote, it's more like a sluggish feeling. He said he feels more distressed and tired and he just doesn't want to do anything in school. He's unmotivated, he's just blank, like he doesn't want anything to do with it. Like, this is an accurate representation of how he probably feels. And then I did uh, the survey, um, 19 responses, which wasn't bad. I'm happy that I got that many. Uh, this, uh, this question specifically stood out to me the most. I asked, what would you say that school became more or less stressful when lockdown was put into effect? And 66.7% of the 19 responses, so that's like, I don't know, 13 people, my mind's probably off, but they all said that it was more stressful, which is pretty alarming to me and makes me sad. But after that, I interviewed one of my uh, buddies and I asked him, uh, did you begin to lose interest as motivation in wanting to do school as a pandemic dragged on? And before I give you his answer, I think I'd, I'd appreciate it if you, on a scale of one to five, uh, five being I fully like lost motivation, didn't want to do anything, and one being I was fine, like nothing really changed. You can hold up your hand and rate. Five, three, yeah, Luke, I don't, I'm not surprised, there's just you. Three and three is fours. I'm seeing a lot of high numbers, so a lot of people, I'm not surprised we're losing motivation. Well, my friend, that's Gavin, by the way, he said, absolutely. Before the pandemic, he was one of his, the best students. He never skipped class, he never skipped assignments, classwork, nothing on purpose. He always had everything turned in on time. But after the pandemic and going into this school year, he doesn't know if it was a senior burnout or if it was an overload or something, but he just really didn't want to do homework. And that's alarming because we should be wanting to get our work done and not being wanting to put it off. I know procrastination is a big thing, but it seems to be getting worse with COVID-19 and what seems to be like everlasting homework. So after I finished interviewing him, I interviewed his dad. I asked his dad, do you believe school has anything to do in developing procrastination habits in your student? And before I gave his answer, do you guys think that they develop procrastination habits in your student? If you do, or and you raise your hand if you think it does. A majority of people, which I'm not surprised. So when I asked his dad, his dad said that he thinks they focus too much on final exams and not as much on actually teaching material as quality. They just hand out quantity, there's no quality, and people just feel swamped, and they don't want to actually learn anything. And that was really interesting to me that his dad, who hasn't been in school for over 19, 20 some odd years, can see that in his kid now and like, like be upset about that. Uh, and it seems like is his dad seeing that, but like the district kind of can't, which not to throw shade at the district, but that's kind of, it's kind of sad. Uh, so here's my solution. So I have three. So teachers will instill a short questionnaire slash Google survey in their classes. Two, designated work days for all classes and then three more collaborative projects. So I gave my solutions, but why these three? So I'll go in a little bit more depth. So the first one 
which would be teachers and still a short questionnaire. The main reason as to why is a questionnaire would be given to students monthly to check in how they're feeling towards each class, like their mental health and everything like that to make sure that they're motivated. And uh, teachers can collect this information and they can uh, give out homework or less homework or more meaningful homework or kind of mold their <clears throat> their curriculum and their classwork around how these students are seeming to react each month with um, current workloads to make sure that everything's all right, grades stay all right, everything like that. The second one would be designated work days for all classes. I talked to a few teachers and um, I still think so. They're getting rid of uh, they're getting rid of distance Fridays, so I think distance Fridays would now become an opportune work day for each class to have a designated work day, because I don't because it's kind of like what uh, Jared said in yesterday in his thing yesterday. He said that flex period is kind of a throwaway period, like no one wants to go to it, no one really cares. It's like kind of a, a waste of time. So I think if you give everybody a time some time on Friday to do their work, then after that, it's kind of their own fault for not wanting to be caught up on stuff. And like I, like I was saying, similar to flex period, faculty will incorporate a designated work day for each week so their students can catch up and utilize class time better. And then the last was more collaborative projects between people. Uh, this, is, this is to help balance workloads. So say for example, so I know Tasia said that she has dance and work after school, and she's not home till like 10 or 11 o'clock at night. And at that time, she's like, I don't want to do homework. I'm exhausted. Like, this isn't fun. So this would be helpful for someone like her. She and someone else in a class can split workload up together. Uh, it wouldn't be necessarily more work for both of them, but it'd be the same amount of work split apart so that they can juggle stuff like that. Uh, like I said, it doesn't entail that more work for one person, but it just means less work between two people. And there's also an option to just do the homework on your own. Like, you don't have to sign up with a partner to do it. And yeah, is there any questions or concerns? Yeah? So with the last one, would the teachers choose their partners or would it be like the students? Uh, I was thinking that the students can choose, the, or probably not, not the, the teachers, because in the work environment, like when you get a job and stuff, you don't really get to choose who you work with and stuff like that. And collaborative projects like this put against with people that you don't normally talk to or like your friends. It helps develop those social skills that are otherwise are like detrimental for the work environment and being able to communicate with people that you don't know when you get a job. Yeah. Do you feel like people are going to be um, forced to work with someone? Like, even if they don't want to, like, do you feel like they're going to feel pressured into it? Yeah, uh, not necessarily because, like I said, it's not more work if you decide not to have a partner. It's just the same amount of work split into two people. So like say for example you have a math a math page. It's like twenty problems front and back and it's like last year a teacher assigned it for it was meant for one person. But next year somebody or uh, the, the collaborative team could do one person does ten, the other does ten. So it's just like it's it's the same amount of work that someone would have done last year and it's not too much. So people can still do it on their own or they can do it with someone if that makes sense. Does that answer your question? Okay. So like this project would be a collaborative two-person project. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you could say that. It work. I think so. Yeah. Um, how could you ensure ensure that uh, all the students are being, like, being finishing with equal like, equal time? Uh, if some yeah, like I, I can see that as a problem. If somebody's not doing their work and someone's doing like tag, like pulling the the whole thing, which is a big problem now. With like there's one person doing a five-person project. I would say that one person would be responsible for um, communicating to the teacher in the surveys or after class or during class. They're like, hey, I'm doing all the work on my own. Like, can I either like get a new partner or can I just do the same on my own? So, yeah. Thank you, John. All right, take the sheets that should be completed.